make some cannellini beans, which have been soaked overnight, drained and washed, with beef, stew meat. I'm using flat iron steaks because for me, flat iron steak is not tender enough to be used for steak, but it's got a nice amount of fat running through it to make it great for this type of dish as opposed to using like uh, eye round which is very lean and maybe not as much fat or maybe no fat but when you chew on it you're left with a mouthful of dry meat plenty of vegetables are going into this dish along with potatoes and I'm only seasoning this with dry oregano and uh, bay leaf powder. I'm using a quart of tomato sauce because I feel a little Italian flair on this since they're cannellini beans. So we have the carrots, the celery, the peppers, the onions and a good amount which will give this thing a great flavor. Never be cheap on the vegetables. And of course garlic. I'm leaving it whole because they're going to be cooking in the crock pot. It just makes life easier but I'm a little bit lazy today so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna saute the vegetables in the uh, pot that belongs to the uh, crock pot which you can do because that's the way this thing is made and uh, while that's going on I'm going to take the beef which I normally would sear in here but I'm really lazy I don't want to go through it because it's three pounds and you got to do little batches at a time to get nice color so instead I'm going to take the meat put it on this pan which I line with aluminum foil because I'm also lazy when it comes to cleaning and there's the meat and my convection oven had been already turned up to high broil so this is a no-brainer I just throw it in the oven and when the meat is brown take it out and then add it to the uh, pot now I have the flame up high on the uh, veggies and we're just going to put in there a little bit of olive oil. How about if I unscrew the top? This is the best non-drip olive oil container you could have. Take my sriracha hot sauce chili sauce container empty and I this thing never drips and I have spent tons of money on all kind of uh, receptacles to hold olive oil. Look at this dry like and uh, it's unbelievable the junk that they make to tell you that it's non-drip when it drips all the time. So we have the vegetables in there including the carrots. Now I, I wanted big chunks today. That's just the way I felt because this is a complete meal. The potatoes are going to go in there as soon as this sautés. I'm going to season this only with salt because I'm going to add hot sauce to it later. And we'll use I'm using a sea salt coarse. Not that that matters if it's coarse or not. I'm just going to put, this is very concentrated stuff. Now this might be enough for two tablespoons for the entire pot. I didn't season the meat because it's not a steak and it can be seasoned halfway into this uh, preparation and the flavor will work its way throughout. This in itself right here is what you, I, I use this all the time in a lot of my recipes because all of these vegetables work together 
give off great flavor, and that's what you're looking for when you're cooking. So we're going to sweat this up good. I'm not looking at the color because we're using white beans and I don't want it to be too dark. It's fair enough, but I'm searing the meat. And I'm also using white wine in this, opposed to red wine. Not that you should use red wine when it's beef all the time, because you know what? It's what you like. It is true that the red wine goes better with beef in cooking. Almost every recipe where it's beef, it's red wine. But what will happen is it will darken this too much. Like I said, it's white. The potatoes are white. That's going to help keep the whiteness. The cannellini beans are white. I want to see them. I don't want them to be dark at all. So I'm using white wine. This is good. Sweating up nicely. Throw in the dry oregano. You can use fresh. If you want to use oregano, use fresh basil, use fresh thyme, use fresh anything. Whatever you like. You want to put sage, cardamom, uh, uh, to your taste. I'm just going with the oregano because I'm using tomato sauce, homemade which is the best way to go. I do have a nice recipe for tomato sauce. And uh, it's a little of Italian because it's cannellini beans. And I'm using tomato sauce. And oregano goes with it. So does basil. So this is very good. Now we're going to take the uh, vino blanco. I'm using Cabernet Sauvignon today, and I'm putting a whopping two cups. Well, don't worry, the alcohol is cooked out of it. So what you have is the flavor of the wine. So if you use a cheap, cheap wine, then uh, it won't be as good. And this is going to cook down. So I'm going to let this reduce a little and wait for the meat to brown. Put in the tomato sauce, the potatoes, and put it into the uh, crock pot and set it for three hours. And we'll you see what happens. have this type of crock pot where you can cook in the pot on an open flame. Then just uh, Saute the vegetables in a skillet, do the same thing, just throw it into the crock pot. The meat, you can either sear it on top of the stove, which is a little time consuming and messy, and a lot of fat goes into the, the grease flows up all into the kitchen, on the fan, all over the place. In the oven, it's a little less messy and you don't have to stir anything, you just wait for the meat to brown. And you just add it. Well, there's the beef. Look at that. Perfect color. And so easy to do. I even put it on aluminum foil because I'm too lazy to clean. And the... I'm going to put those juices in there. Absolutely. That's all that flavor. And the meat comes right off. I'll be adding the meat to that without making a mess. Can we do it? Let's see. Sure, why not? Could that be any easier? And I'm using less oil too in it. We make the saute in oil. And that's it. Ah, how clean. Very nice. Let me add the beans. Soaked overnight. Maybe an 8 o'clock, almost 15 hours of soaking. The uh, tomato sauce, which is, like I said, homemade, mine. I 
I'm going to bring this to a boil on the stove. It'll just help in one quart of water. You don't need stock. Matter of fact, that's enough. Every time I do this, I tend to put a little too much liquid because don't forget the vegetables are going to give off water once they are disintegrated. Oh, this looks nice. I like this. The color especially. If the color is right, it should taste good. And then we'll put the potatoes. And uh, once this comes to a boil, I'm going to taste it just to see uh, how the flavoring is going. And if I don't taste enough herbs, then I'll just add a little bit more. Simple as that. And it will reflect in the recipe the exact amount of everything that's used in this, including the salt and the sriracha hot sauce. Oh, that's pretty. And I have plenty of beef in there for the amount of beans. Bring this to a boil and then set it into the crock. See that nice color? Nice reddish, light brown. Like tomato sauce, nice. So that's uh, about three quarters of a quart of water. Now I'll set the uh, crack pot. I set it for four hours on high. But like I said, I'm going to check it. In three. And see how it's doing. Just a nice, good boil. Then I'll put it in there. No sense to watching this. Yes. And that's it. See, you could do this on top of the stove or in uh, one of those pots for the oven. But every once in a while you have to mix it. This way, there it is. You walk away. Nothing sticks, nothing burns, nothing gets scorched. And uh, just makes life easier. Be back in well, three it's hours. It's only been about an hour. But I love to look at it and mix it. Beautiful. And it gives you a nice aroma through the house. It's been four hours. It looks good. And the beans are soft. Now it takes a piece of the meat. Mmm. Very good. Very hot. And at this point, it's up to the individual to put the amount of salt. The amount of salt that I put in there, it could take another tablespoon of salt which I'm going to add on to the recipe. Now to serve this, I would put it in a soup plate. And there's plenty of, there's plenty here for four people. And this is everything you need. How's that? The color's good. The beans are pretty, the vegetables are nice, all the flavors came together, and I hope you enjoy this as much as I will in a few hours from now when I eat it.